What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. In today's video I will show you in details the last set from the March 2022 Speed Champions lineup. The previous ones are accessible in the top right corner as usual. This is the set number 76910 with the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro and the Aston Martin Vantage GT3. You can see both vehicles on the front of the box, racing on a racetrack. On the back of the box there's a back view of the cars, small photos of the real ones and some additional details. Let's open the box. The set has 592 pieces, the price is 39.99 euros or dollars, so unlike the Mercedes AMG double pack, the euro and dollar price is the same in this case. Lego's pricing strategy really works in mysterious ways. The set is officially available from the 1st of March. There are four numbered bags inside, two manuals and two sticker sheets. The first two bags belong to the Walker AMR Pro, so let's start building. It begins with the rear axle, and you can already see some unconventional assemblies used sideways. Speed Champions could lead the second coming of studied Technic pieces, considering the amount I saw in the recent sets. Here we have a connection with the Technic axles, plus that hinge element to provide support for that central plate. Pretty cool. We saw something similar in the Mercedes Formula 1 car, but now it's doubled. Two of these wheelbase pieces use lengthways to build the core of the chassis. Tons of studs on the sides, Rotated headlight pieces used to provide stud support in multiple directions, even more Technic axles, it's getting better and better. The first time we get the new special headlight pieces without a print, they come in lime in this set. The complex rerun starts to take shape, we've got the first stickers, and the candle exhausts are installed as well. Now this is some serious 1x1 one -one stacking going on here. And here is the very distinctive rear wing that is only supported by that single stud connection in the center. But of course these tiles on the sides will make it more stable. First traces of the special shape of the body at the center, a few more pieces and we are finished with the first half. Ok, honestly I did not expect this big red rotor blade based on the photos. Maybe the black sticker or the fact that it will be very well integrated in the body, just watch. We have black and red trim for the seals. Please note that the black pieces are facing the opposite direction compared to each other and the hinge element is only used because it's way thinner than a regular plate. And here comes the front of the seal, again with some tricky bracket usage for the proper look and support. The sides are smooth now and the steering wheel is properly centered. The front end starts as a separate assembly, I wonder what these thingies will do. Well, I was not prepared for this, now I have to rotate them by 90 degrees, again a quite unusual building step. Now let me see your hands, who expected classic city vehicle doors at the front of the car? We add some shifted structures in the middle using jumper plates. And what a surprise, the new headlight pieces again, but this time they are printed. The transparent version of this clip is new for 2022, and now you can see the purpose of those parts I mentioned previously. This is the moment of the marriage, the two halves are again not only connected by the Technic pins, but with the white clips at the center as well. Time to add these pieces to form the characteristic area around the cockpit, they can be moved around a bit but let's wait for the end. We have nice printed wheel covers, now all the wheels are installed, here comes the windshield piece which is also new by the way, and we are finished. Actually we aren't, we still have a few stickers to apply. And now we are finished, there's still an interesting step in the manual for the end, it shows how those hinged pieces should be positioned correctly. Now let's build the Vantage GT3. Here is the base, nothing really special so far. Applying the stickers to these L-shaped panels once they are already mounted is a real challenge, it's probably better to do it separately. It's really cool to see how these jumper plates are used to create offset surfaces, as you see the brackets on the sides have half stud difference, I don't have the parts here yet but it will be used to line up the side of the car perfectly with that slope. Now what do we have here? Plain simple 1x1 bricks. Really, no extra stud connections or tricks anywhere, I'm disappointed now. Ok, I'm just kidding, it's a cool diffuser, although lining up those 5 tiny stickers on this single piece was a challenge. Another funny piece I've never seen before, according to Bricklink it was only used in the Super Mario 64 question mark block set last year. I'm sure it starts to sound boring, but I still admire all the different variations in layers and directions that are possible to build with these brackets nowadays, I never imagined anything close to this when I was a kid and I was simply stacking regular bricks. I know it's not proportional, but I don't care. When did you expect to see the rear diffuser support cords being replicated on a Lego set at this size? I love this attention to detail. So, tell me if you know what it is for the first sight. 
I have to confess it took me a few seconds. This is the side of a 1x2 plate with the Aston Martin logo printed on it. I think the designers at the Speed Champions department really want me to dust off my good old macro lens. Too bad it's already packed for the move. Hope you still see it. Fascinating. A design study of the distinctive rear right of the Vantage, red transparent toothpiece for the corner, held in place by the 1x4 plate. In the center there's a grey bracket on top of the 1x2 red tile, and between them there's this assembly with that round piece, held in place by the clip, and it is installed upside down to perfectly complement the red transparent cheese slope below it. The rear window nicely follows the angle of the surrounding pieces, because of course it does. I was hoping I can at least complain about the steering wheel, but no, it's perfectly aligned with the seat. And this is the end of the first phase. Here is the door I was talking about at the beginning, look how unified this whole surface is. Wow, an entire 2x4 classic brick. It's weird to see among the many tiny little pieces, well, this is the engine I guess. The iconic front grille is a snot sandwich, it has studs all over the place. The front is mostly covered with tiles and lots of stickers, time to add the new headlight pieces that are printed of course. And suddenly we are approaching the end of the build, here is the printed windshield, then the rear wing, a bunch of stickers, the wheels, and we are finished. So here are the two vehicles side by side with their driver sitting in them. And here are the drivers separately, both of them have cool printed racing suits with the AMR print, short for Aston Martin Racing, and they even have the silhouette of the logo on them. I talked a lot already about the details of the cars, let's talk a bit now about the concept of the double pack. I received lots of comments about these, as I see many people don't really like them because they only want one of the cars and they feel the other is just a filler. Well, in this case I couldn't say for the first sight which one will be more popular. The Valkyrie is a limited production hybrid sports car designed in collaboration between Aston Martin and Red Bull Advanced Technologies. The AMR Pro is the track-only variant aiming to compete at the Le Mans 24 hours race. The design is really radical and it offered a great opportunity for the Speed Champions team to flex their design muscles and give us a unique build. The Vantage GT3 is also a track-focused car but as far as I know it's still street legal. The look is a bit more conventional, at least if you can call this massive diffuser conventional, and the LEGO version sort of reflects that. So, both of these are race-focused cars in this pack and honestly I'm a bit disappointed with this choice. If I say Aston Martin, I'm sure kids won't think about these modern race cars in the first place, but the beautiful classics like the DB4, DB5, although we had a rather blocky creator expert version of that one, or my all-time favorite, the V8 Vantage. I'm pretty sure the designers wanted to use the new pieces as well, like the headlights, so they chose a car where it fits. Anyway, both cars have tons of cool solutions and building techniques used, so they are definitely worth building. I really like how the very small details are replicated, like the vents behind the front wheels on the Valkyrie, or the overall shape of the rear wing, the double exhaust, and so on. The hood of the Vantage GT3 looks simple, but also has nice authentic details with these vents, the grille with the small claw pieces, that massive diffuser, and of course the rear lights. The biggest issue is not related to the design itself on these cars, it's still the color difference of certain stickers compared to the plastic pieces. The grey is somewhat different but it blends in much better, but the lime is very different and it simply looks bad. There are usually many complaints in the comments about stickers, a lot of people would like to see prints only, and not only in Speed Champions but in Technic as well. I don't really support this idea since LEGO pieces should be reusable, and with so many custom printed elements this would be an issue. From the manufacturer's side it's also a challenge, since each and every printed element is unique, so from a production and logistics perspective they behave just like another new part. But, if LEGO is unable to solve the color inconsistency issue with the stickers, I would still support these to be printed instead. It's like 1, 2, 3 elements on the Valkyrie, all the rest with the black and red are fine. Not significantly more prints, but would make the look way more unified. So folks, that was my last review from the Speed Champions March 2022 lineup, but definitely not my last video about them. Stay tuned for something new in the following weeks. As always, I would love to read your thoughts in the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell, I've got more stuff coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.